All right, guys. Uh, quick tutorial: vertical lookup, V lookup in Excel. Uh, very, very easy to learn. Actually, it's not that difficult. Uh, I should have included it in my other video, but I haven't, so I'm going to make a dedicated video for it. So let me pop open Excel, blank workbook. Uh, let's start out with suppose I have a bunch of items, um, and let's say I have, uh, whoopsie, let's say item mode two. Let's say I have. Um, 10 items, all right? I have 10 items, and again, I have these 10 items over here, and I have here, let's say, prices. Let me make some random prices. Uh, equals random times 5. And then let's say I have a color. Uh, yellow, green, uh, blue, red. Okay. Uh, so there's some colors for these items. Let me just drag that down and we have random prices and we're going to insert in a header over here real quick and let's say uh, item name and we'll put here item name price color all right so we have total randomness over here so here let me copy these values i don't want to change no more i'm going to paste it special over here let's go back here paste it back delete this okay so here is my sample sheet real quick just made a sample piece um, so I have a bunch of items here let me highlight the header okay so I have a bunch of items here um, and I'm going to use vertical lookup uh, basically to look up the price for each one of these items so I have a, a list of items here and suppose that I want in this column the list of uh, prices that correlate to the item so for that uh, I'm going to be using vertical lookup which is V lookup uh, so there's a way you can write out the formula or you could just do it directly through Excel I'm going to do it directly through Excel to show you what we're breaking it down to so I'm going to go to formulas and look up and I choose V lookup which is vertical lookup uh, and I'm going to say all right so I want to look up the value for what I want to look up the value for item so I'm going to click on item A2. I want item 1 to match to item 1 to show me the price for what item 1 is and move it here into column B2. So the table array is where we're going to be searching for the lookup value. So the table in this case is what I make the table. Um, it's going to be right here. So this is going to be our table array. Our table array is going to be E2 through G11, which is 1, 2, 3 columns. Again, remember, 1, 2, three three columns so our table array is going to be right here and then it's going to tell me well what column value do you want to return if item one matches to item one if a2 matches to e um, to e2 what value do you want to return from this table well this table has three columns so I want to return uh, column two which is the price so column two and I'm going to click on OK so what just happened here, as soon as I clicked OK, you'll see that item 1 is 70 cents, and it returned a value of 70 cents. So I'm going to drag this down, and you'll see here that all the items now matched. So suppose now I want to go and look at the beauty of it. Suppose I delete a price for one of these guys. I'm going to get nothing. See how the price just uh, dynamically changed to absolutely nothing? And let's say I make the price 50 bucks it's going to turn to 50. Why? Because what the formula really does is says, okay, here is my, my uh, items. So we're going to search for this item and match it with this item and return the value of the column that we designate in the formula. So if I go here and let's say I want to look up colors instead of, uh, of prices, I'm going to change the 2 here to a 3. Why? Because I want to search through the third column, the uh, color column. So I'm going to press 3 and I'm going to hit enter and you'll see that it already grabbed the color. Item 1 is yellow, so it grabbed yellow. Item 2 is green, it grabbed green. A and that's in essence how uh, to use VLOOKUP. So I'm going to write the same formula out. Whoopsie. I'm going to write the same formula out without um, without uh, using the uh, Excel formula calculator. I'm just going to say equals uh, VLOOKUP. And I'm going to say the item to look for is going to be a 2, comma, and then my, uh, oh, it looks like I deleted the contents of my table. Right, let me bring them back. Okay, so I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP, vertical lookup. And I'm going to say look for item A2. And I want to search in the array of this table right here. And it's going to now, I'm going to put a comma. It's going to say, well, which column do you want to return the value to? Do you want to return uh, the price or the color or the item name back? 
I want to see what item 1 correlates with here and what column. So remember, because we highlighted this box, we have column 1, 2, and 3. It's not going to be column E, F, and G. This is a, a kind of like a dedicated box. So it's column 1, column 2, and column 3. So I want to return the price. In this case, the price is in column 2 because we highlighted three rows over here, three columns over here. So I'm going to put in 2. I'm going to close the parentheses. I'm going to hit Enter. And you'll see what just happened. It just returned the values. And as I change the values in here, it'll dynamically change here as well. So say I have here $1, $2, $3, $4. Take a look at how it uh, changes right here on the right side, on the left-hand corner. Uh, I could do the same thing with prices. So I could do equals VLOOKUP. And I'm, again, I'm going to look uh, for item A2. Uh, I'm going to be looking at this table array again. And this time I'm going to be looking through, I'm going to return the value in uh, the column 3, which is color. Uh, and I'm going to hit enter, and I return the value for colors as well. And I can make different alterations here. Let's say this is now red. You'll notice how it changes here as well. So it's dynamic, it shifts as you change the data. All right, so a quick recap. What did we really do here? Um, uh, mandatory things. You have to have at least one matching column to look up. If something doesn't match, you're going to get a really nasty error that says not available. And I'll delete item 5, and you'll see what happens. Not available, not available. So remember, you must have an a index, uh, and that index must be the same uh, as your item name. Um, remember that when you highlight a table, uh, an array to look for, remember that you're highlighting, see right now I'm highlighting four columns, five columns, six columns. This will be six, this will be four, this will be five, and then one, two, and three. So don't get mixed up. I used a very simple example where I highlighted three, uh, an array of three uh, columns, and I just got column one, column two, and column three. Uh, and I'm basically asking to look up the value for um, something in column one or in column two. So this is the entire lesson. Try this out. Make your own little list. Make your own, uh, make your own little sample spreadsheet uh, and test it out and see how it works. It's actually very, very easy. I mean, if you think about it, it's very easy. It's a really awesome uh, function. Uh, it just matches one thing to another and just returns a value from an array or uh, a list of columns. So if you have a lot of data, it's very, 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 very easy to do. So I uh, hope this video helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Uh, I really wish I included it in my other video, uh, 10 Things You Must Know About Excel. I recommend watching that video as well. Um, and thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe, like, and comment as you see fit. Bye.